Yeah, well, I mean, you know, we, we, we have to, we have our set time that we have to prepare. And, uh, you know, that's, that's today it starts at 2.10. And, and we have that time that we have to, to practice and get our meetings in and get ready for a ball game. Uh, but, you know, outside of that, we, we have to try to, uh, and we talked about it yesterday, kind of went around the room, you know, who could be impacted and make sure they all know that we're here to help and that, that uh, there's some things that we can do, you know, when people have to be evacuated and so forth. And uh, we had it happen last year with, with, with Trayvon. Uh, his family came up here and stayed. Uh, we were able to help them with that. Uh, so uh, just making sure that they know the resources that are available to them and um, to communicate with us on what their needs are. Uh, so just that's the biggest thing, just communicating and making sure they know. That the NCA allows you to help. Yeah. Family yes. Jeff, what was your assessment of John Simpson and Stewart? Uh, John John did not play very well, uh, and he 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 he's a he was disappointed uh, in his performance and just technically didn't do some things. He had he had some great moments too. Man, he had he had one down on the goal line. You know, we do a big hit video every Monday, um, and uh, and we do a not so good video. And then we do an extra effort video. It's kind of all combined when we come back in here on Mondays. And, and uh, you know, he, he, he did some good things, but he did not uh, have a winning performance. Uh, we have a winning perform grade at every position, and, and uh, he, he, he did not play uh, up to his standard. And um, I don't have any doubt he'll bounce back this week, and we need him to. Uh, just technically, uh, he knew what to do. He didn't bust assignments or anything like that, but he just, he just did not quite play as well as he did. Kay did a good job. Kay did a pretty good job. He he, he heard us on one. We probably, um, we had Renfro wide open. I don't know if y'all remember the one Kelly kind of overthrew it. Uh, and I mean, it's a, it was a change route. And uh, I mean, he's, he, he might have scored. Um, and Kelly had to kind of rush the throw, ended up, and then he threw it a little high, but he had to throw over because they were just a simple twist. And Kay just, you know, technically got his shoulders turned instead of staying square, and they ran just a ET twist, and the guy he don't come off, and the guy comes free, and he's in Kelly's face, and and now he got to sells the ball a little high, and we miss a huge play in the game, and those are those are little things that lead to big things, and so, but he but he really did, he's he's it's been very encouraging. That's been a that's been quietly been a really strong battle going on between he and Pollard. Uh, and the flip side, Pollard played well. Uh, he was our lineman of the week uh, in, in our room, so he did some good things. Uh, yeah, Pollard, Ankrum, and, and Hyatt, I thought, all played uh, very well in the ball game. But uh, you know, Kate, Kate is a guy we're excited about. I mean, he's just a sophomore and, and uh, really getting his first big time experience. Um, had one bad play, but outside of that, I thought he uh, he did a good job. Coach, even with the offensive line, Ankrum's split time with, uh, with with Pollard at right tackle last year. Last week, he's offensive MVP uh, against AM. He goes toe to toe with the SEC staff leader from last year and holds his own. Uh, is this what you're really hoping and expecting from him? To start yeah, with? I'm really, he and Hyatt have really kind of solidified themselves. I mean, Tremaine has had two, I told him that yesterday, I'm, I'm really proud of him. He's had two really good games. He's had two really good games. Uh, doing his job, he's playing physical, he, he's playing very smart. Uh, very pleased uh, with your mate. Coach Kelly Bryant, in his performance on Saturday, set a tone. Uh, and is that a good teaching point for you to give your players moving forward, how Kelly has accepted the responsibility and how he's reacted to his role? Yeah, I just think that that kind of speaks for itself. I mean, you know, I mean, everything in life is about how you respond. And, uh, you know, he's, he's responded well. Uh, you know, both our quarterbacks did some good things, and both of them were – we did some bad things. We were, we were not quite as consistent as we need to be at that position. And uh, but I thought his leadership and his toughness and his poise down the stretch, no question. I mean, it was it was awesome, and it was exactly what we needed in that moment. Uh, so you know, you gave us a chance to. Uh, I mean, we're up twenty-one-six, and then we're up. You know, they score in two plays, um, and and then we go right back down the field. Bam, and answer. 28-13, fourth quarter, two, two touchdown lead, and uh, you know we couldn't we couldn't hold it. Uh, you know, give them a lot of credit. Uh, 
but uh, just didn't we didn't complement each other very well. We picked each other up pretty good, but we didn't complement each other well. And uh, you know we want to play complementary football, but I thought I thought Kelly did a great job of, of just just being composed and poised and uh, just playing well, focusing on your job when you play. And uh, uh, he's he's been great. He's been a, a, a true example uh, to everybody that uh, just stay focused on the things that you, that you control. When Georgia Southern was going to FBS, you know, they were going red hot and they struggled for a year or two and they're kind of back on track now. Yep. How close to back on track do you, to where they were previously do you think they are at this point? Well, we'll see. I mean, they're two and zero, uh, and they're they're. I think they got the best record in the Sun Belt. Maybe them and one other team. Uh, so it, it, they'll they'll do fine. They'll be a team. They'll they just like I said. They got so much tradition in that program. It's not like there's some new football program. Uh, th th this is a team. I, I, to me, they're kind of like App State. You know, App State was a dominant one double A program that moved up and you know eventually made the adjustment. Now. Now they're, you play App State, you better, you better be ready. Uh, they're, they're really good. And uh, so I think, I think Georgia Southern will, will be the same. Uh, I know this is, they got a new coach and all that stuff, but um, they're doing kind of what they've always done, uh, what people have embraced there uh, at, at Georgia Southern. And I think they know exactly what they're looking for in the recruiting process. And, I'd be very surprised if they're not one of the competitive teams in their league, you know, moving forward. Is it a good thing that you've got Georgia Southern this week with that triple option and Georgia Tech the next week? Uh, well, I mean, I guess it is a good thing in that, in that, you know, you're having to, I mean, three of our first four games uh, are, are option-oriented teams. Now, again, they're all really different. I mean, it's not like they all do the same things. I mean, they have their option principal teams, but, but they kind of all have their – their flavor, uh, so it's definitely not a negative that you're having to spend three, three of your or two of your first uh, three games before you get into conference play, uh, having to play option defense and and the discipline that it takes. Uh, uh, the flip side of that is is you're not playing a lot of base defense, and uh, that's that's one negative. And then the other one is is uh, well, George Tech gets to, usually when they see when we play George Tech, they don't have a lot of film to study us, you know, because we really just play them once a year. Uh, whereas now they've got they've got some tape to study, uh, so it's it's a uh, it's both uh, works both ways. Do they cut as much as Georgia Tech on the offensive uh, line? You know, these guys they don't cut as much. Uh, their splits are like that big, uh, really tight splits, but they're a little bit more zone principle, a little bit a little bit more. I mean, they run a lot of zone read, a lot of split zone stuff, uh, but they don't cut quite as much.